day of vlogmas i got my new fabletics order in so here is the aspire outfit it comes with the tank on top it's like a muscle tank really lightweight these are like a really pretty nude legging um almost like pinkish color like a blush color but this is the perfect outfit to wear on days where you just need to run errands so if you haven't heard of fabletics yet you need to hop on fabletics and become a vip member because they have the deal where it's two leggings for $24 if you sign up to be a VIP, which is like crazy. That's like $12 per legging. But I really love their sets. They have outfits that they curate for you, or you can buy things a la carte. So you could just get the shirt or just get the, the leggings, but they're known for their leggings. However, I also really love their outerwear, like this ski jacket I have been wearing all the time. It's my go-to, oh, there are the cats. They have the zoomies right now. Um, I really love this jacket for when I don't wanna carry on a purse and I just wanna throw things in my pockets. These are perfect when I wanna be hands-free. I'm also gonna pair it with my new Shoe Dazzle Aiden boots. I just did an unboxing on TikTok, so make sure to check that out. Ooh, these feel good but I figured black boots are going to be so nice, functional, but also really cute for winter. So let me back up a little so you guys can see what they look like. So here is the whole outfit. So I'm just gonna go to the farmer's market and go pick up some fresh local ingredients there. So this is the look for the day. What do you guys think? But before I head out, let's actually give the cats their treats. Alright guys, we made it to the farmer's market. Let's see what they have today. Mm. It's so good. It's a persimmon. Persimmons are in season during winter, so it's really good. Looks like the thing I saw on TikTok. How funny! In the fridge, over here, I'm over here about end of February. Okay. Want to try that? Uh, is it really spicy? Not as much as it looks. Okay. Oh. Okay. Yeah. I was, can I get one of those? And then one guacamole. You got it. Hey guys, this is becoming deadly. Look at my bag. Like, there's so much in here, but I feel like there's so many fun things that I want to try. Things that I've seen on TikTok that I'm not expecting to see here. So today's a good day. I'll go home and do 
do a quick haul with you guys. I also feel like it's so nice talking to all of the vendors and like the owners of these businesses. A lot of them are like starting off or they have like online stores and they're trying to make their presence known in the community at these like local farmers markets. And I'm sure if you come like on a weekly basis, like some of them are so nice. It makes me want to come back every week just to like see how they're doing and like catch up and see how their business is growing. So maybe I'll make coming to the farmers market more regular. I used to come a lot more often, but obviously since like COVID and stuff, I just figured let me do my whole once a month shopping thing, but maybe I'll loop in the farmer's market too. All right, you guys, back at home. I'm actually so excited for this little haul. Um, oh, yeah, this made me realize how much I miss going to the farmer's market and shopping locally, shopping seasonally, which just means like, things that are in season right now. Citrus, like oranges, limes, and persimmons, like you buy things that are in season right now. Like for instance, berries, that's in season in summer. So summer's a really good time to buy watermelons, peaches, berries. Right now it's a season for a lot of root veggies, think hearty, like winter stuff. So now this is the exciting bit that I was really looking forward to. Our farmer market finds. So I'll start with this. Ch Choke Apothecary. This is um, functional chocolate medicine. This has euphoria, lion's mane, and maca. Um, so it has like the mushrooms and stuff. If you guys are into like microdosing, stuff like that. Um, this has the, I forgot what the mushroom was called, but I would have inserted the clip um, so you guys would have seen her talk about it a little bit. But she talks about this mushroom that's Lion's Mane Mushroom, I guess. But there was something else. It was like an interesting name that I can't remember. And this one, it helps with, she said one of her customers, in addition to microdosing, she just has like a little spoonful of this and it really like chills her out. This is her like caramel. So really, really good. I had a sample of this. Really good. I got some, this is Black Mission Figs, dried figs. I really want to get into like baking this holiday season. And I've been seeing this recipe circulating for a red wine and fig cake, which just sounds so delicious to me. This is a Japanese brand called Golden Amazake, and he makes all of these out of, it's a fermented rice beverage. So he said that all the sweetness comes from the fermented rice, and since it's fermented, you have the probiotic benefits and all that. I tried the golden milk there. And it was really, really yummy. It has turmeric. That's it's like a, a root. It, that's what makes it yellow. So excited to try these milks with these cupcakes that I got. She makes all of her cupcakes from scratch. So the sample that I tried was this strawberry one. I just love like a strawberry cake. I think from that place, Nothing Bunt Cakes. If you guys have one local to you, you guys know how good that is. And they had like a seasonal cake flavor like their strawberries and cream but they made it a permanent flavor so i think that's why i was gravitating towards this because it reminds me of this and then i also had to get a red velvet because i love red velvet so i'm gonna enjoy these cupcakes with some of these milks and have like a cute little sweet treat later next i just have some organic limes they were like four for a dollar and they are super juicy i need these for a holiday mocktail that i'm gonna make later with some like apple cider um some seasonal ingredients. This place called a uh, Capico. Um, the guy makes all of his um, all of his salsas and guacamole and this like chili crunch. He said this is salsa, salsa matcha, which in I think like Mexican culture, I'm pretty sure um, it's a salsa made out of. I think there was nuts, right? chili guajillo, chili de arbol, chili marita, olive oil, onion, garlic, sea salt. Okay, so I guess he, he was saying it's more like a garlic oil, but I thought it's like a great chili crunch. And I was gonna go buy chili crunch anyways, but I was like, no, this is perfect. I'd rather get something more artisanal and local and supporting a local business too. And he was really nice. I also tried some guacamole, so I, I'm gonna eat that today. Like right now, I'm gonna have this for like my little, my little lunch, I'm gonna have guacamole with some cucumbers and I'm gonna have my cupcakes with the golden milk. 
And then I think the thing that I'm most excited for is these pickled garlics. I saw this on TikTok and everyone was raving about it. And I was walking by and I literally stopped in my tracks. And I was like, hold on, are you guys from TikTok? I feel like I recognize like the green lid and then this like pickled garlic with like in this jar. It just looks so familiar. She's like, yeah, no, that is us. So um, she was saying that if you bring the um, container back to, I think you get like a discount or something, or, like a credit. So let me actually try the back of a knife and whack it a little bit let's see if this opens i might if i can't open it then i'm gonna have to wait till wes comes home oh got it okay oh wow that smells so good it smells like smoky oh my lord my mouth is watering there's like a fat jalapeno chunk right there wow that smells so good okay let's try one Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Oh my god, that tastes so good. So let me gather some of the things that I wanted to put together for the tinned fish night, which we're gonna do caviar and fried chicken for our Christmas Eve or Christmas dinner. So yeah, TikTok is definitely taking over the holiday inspiration in this household for food. Um, but yeah, let me put Kiki down. I'll put everything in the fridge and then I'm just going to enjoy the guac and homemade cupcakes and homemade matcha milk and turmeric milk. And we're just going to have a wholesome food day, aren't we? Aren't we? Aren't we? All right. <laughs> All right, so... I was gonna do a cucumber, but I'm feeling more in like a chippy mood. But all I have are these Fritos, which feels a little sacrilegious, like eating something so processed with something so fresh. But whatever, what do they say? Like mixing high and lowbrow. <laughs> so I guess Fritos is the lowbrow, and this guac is highbrow. But let's see. Okay, it's really good. Oh my god. Mm -mm -mm. Some guac. Mm. So good. I'm just having this with some Asian pear on the side that I already had. I hope you guys enjoyed following me along at the farmer's market today. And I hope it inspired you to go to your local farmer's market if you can. If you can shop locally, support Frito. I've done the wrong way. I'm gonna enjoy this, but stay tuned for the tinned fish night that's coming up in a couple days. Also, the caviar and fried chicken night. It's gonna be a Christmas Eve or Christmas, so that's gonna be really fun. So yeah, a lot of fun little foodie, exciting things that are gonna happen within the next week or so. But I just thought I would show you guys the prep, I guess, behind it and where I'm getting all of the ingredients so that if you guys want to create your own tinned fish night, um, then you guys could do so. So I'll see you guys in the next one.